From MTN News, this is Community Connection. Thanks for joining us here on the Montana Television Network. For this week's Community Connection Spotlight, we have Cynthia Byers Shield with the Great Falls Children's Receiving Home and Megan Torres with Junior League of Great Falls in the studio this morning. Thank you both for taking time. Thank you. Thanks for having us. All right, so these two organizations have partnered up this year to host Cabaret for a Cause. I know that's a very well known organiz uh, organization, well known fundraiser yes. here in our area. Yes, and our event is um, March 9th, doors open at 5, dinner begins at 6, we'll have a live auction, we'll have a silent auction, we'll have a dessert auction, wow. and we have several sponsorships uh, coming in from the community. And, um, what do you have to add, Megan? Um, we will have dueling guitars as our entertainment. We had them last year, and they're a really fun group. It's really exciting. Mm -hmm. um, Individual tickets go on sale on Friday, and they are $60. And we have several levels of sponsorships. We have a bronze, a silver, and a gold. We have several uh, large firms in our community already committing to those sponsors, wow, so to be those sponsors. So we're looking forward to it. It should be a lot of fun. Definitely. It seems like the community support has been strong. And I'm not sure, uh, correct me if I'm wrong here, you guys have been able to raise around $30,000 uh, through this event that has been able to be shared with organizations in our, our area. We have historically. It's been a great event, not only fun, but also serves our community really well. Very neat. And you did mention uh, a number of uh, things, like including the silent auction of the night. I know that's always a, a big takeaway from the evening. Are there any big items that you guys want to highlight or let people know will be there? Apart from our dessert auction, we have a, a flight around Great Falls donated by um, a local luminary um, and several other surprises planned. Megan, do you have any? We will also have a teddy bear raffle and we always have exciting um, items that people win from that raffle. Very neat. Sounds like there's something for everybody. And for those watching that um, aren't sure what the Children's Receiving Home and Junior League of Great Falls does, do you guys mind briefly explaining a little bit about your organizations? Yes, Junior League is a women's volunteer organization that promotes um, volunteerism in the community. Mm -hmm. um, some of our past projects have included, we started the Children's Receiving Home, the CM Russell Museum, and most recently we've partnered with Toby's House to fundraise for a crisis nursery. Okay. And the receiving home founded in 1966 um, has served the community since then, obviously um, helping call children in from homes that ha are abusive or neglect, um, have neglect mm -hmm. or parental incarceration and we give them a safe haven and some love and reassurance. Great. And so um, the funds from uh, this uh, Cabaret for a Cause, how will they help your organizations? Obviously, keep our organizations stable and in growth um, situations so we can uh, keep our home full and open to anybody who needs it. Great. Um, we will obviously be helping Toby's house, and then um, those funds also help women in our group just get leadership opportunities. Okay, so it sounds like a lot of great programs that you're able to help residents with. Um, all that information can be found as well on our websites, KRTV and KXLH.com. Thanks so much, ladies, for being here. Mm, thank thank you. you. All right, thanks for watching, guys.